So I've been sitting here with my new M2 iPad Pro waiting for DaVinci Resolve. <laughs> Probably like a lot of you, but I haven't been able to stop thinking about one very specific thing. Something that could on day one dramatically increase what is possible using DaVinci Resolve on iPad. And that is fusion effects. There's a few things we do know. Number one, at launch, uh, DaVinci Resolve on the iPad will just be the cut page and the color page with a very simplified sort of like export process instead of the deliver page. It won't have the full fusion workspace, but that is because they are designing that new workspace for the iPad. We know they're planning to offer it, so we know it's not because that the hardware can't handle fusion. There just isn't a good way to natively build things inside Fusion. But that leaves open a very, very interesting possibility. That being third-party Fusion effects. If you've been around the channel, you know all of this, but especially if you're new to the channel or have found the channel because of uh, all the conversation happening about Resolve on the iPad, Fusion effects, I think, are one of the most uh, exciting things happening in uh, video editing in general. You can take almost anything you would do in the full Fusion page and turn it into a, a drag and drop effect, title generator, or transition on the edit page. And and the cut page. I've made powerful energy presets. I've made plugins to instantly format gaming clips for TikToks. I've made a handful of tracking presets, some fun meme effects like a text stretch or those anime speed lines. I've already made and put out a lot of free resources for people editing in the full version of DaVinci Resolve. And I am just hoping that Blackmagic will let me bring all those free resources to people editing on iPad. And I do think we have reason to hope. Of You have these effects here on the edit page, but you still have them also uh, over on the cut page. I can open up something like effect and here you see all the extra effects I have loaded into my version of Resolve. And I could instantly drag anything like the simple RGB split effect, drag it on, open my inspector over here, increase this little RGB split. Awesome, right on the cut page. I do have a note for Blackmagic uh, here on the cut page. It doesn't bring in the same like subfolders you get on the edit page. Instead, it influences the name and gets really messy. Uh, not great, if we get those same folders, that'll be a plus. But at least on desktop, we have all those effects, all those generators, titles, transitions that you can pull from anywhere, or you can just make your own and save them to be uh, edit page drag and droppable or cut page, I guess. And we know the iPad has the hardware, so just black magic, let me do this. On desktop, the main process to load all of these presets is the DRFX system. I've recently done a video all about this, how to set up your own if you wanna make, share, or even sell these presets. It's pretty much a zip file, but if you uh, double click on it, Resolve will recognize it and uh, take all the presets inside of it, uh, put them in the correct folders. It's super easy for the end user. And I think it is pretty important to bring this functionality to iPad. I know iPad OS in general, working with all these miscellaneous files can get uh, a little funky. I'm not entirely sure I'm new to iPad in general. <laughs> but one way or another, I do believe it is essential to give all the users on iPad access to uh, the wide amounts of these third-party or community-created uh, presets and templates and plugins, especially while we're waiting on the Fusion page itself to come to the iPad. I recently packaged up all of my past free presets into one master DRFX, which I do include as a perk of a membership on my site or as a one-off paid product if you just want that convenience, but I have that ready to go. On day one of Resolve on the iPad, I could instantly load on 90 new effects, titles, transitions, have them good to go. Even some really basic stuff like masking. You don't have a ton of masking controls on either the edit page or the cut page. If you've been following this scene around uh, DaVinci Resolve fusion effects, I'm sure you know where I'm coming from. But if you weren't aware of this, this could be really exciting. There's a lot of opportunity in general for these in Resolve, but I think on the iPad specifically, and especially in its like launch and a little more limited state, this will be the perfect way to get so much more functionality out of this free app. But that is, you know, what's been on my mind while we wait for any more news about the launch of Resolve on iPad. I hope you are as excited about uh, all this new potential as I am. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.